This might be a good time to change directions a little bit. Uh, I have a knocking noise in my big Ford motor right back in here uh, in the area of the uh, uh, rocker arms back here on that. So I think it would be prudent to pop the valve covers off of here and just have a look and see what's going on in there. And I don't even think I'm going to crank it. I know it's cold. And probably take a little gas in the car ready to crank it. But I think before I do that, I'm just going to pop off the valve covers and just look and see what's going on there. The thing about it, it's not hard to get these off. And one bolt on the front, one bolt on the back. screwdriver to prize that off of there. Stuck on there pretty good. And I must have permatexed it down on there, I guess. Probably did. I did stick her on there pretty good because I had a, it was leaking before. And I didn't want it to leak. So I probably did permatex it up pretty well. Okay, I'm glad I did that. The problem became evident right away. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but see this rocker arm is sticking way up here in the air? That's just not natural. That, my friends, is, well, it's at least a broken uh, rod, if not bent, if not falling down into the motor there somewhere, but the, the, uh, the, the rod, that's supposed to be a rod right here that works these rocker arms, see that? Well, there's not one at all, right there. So that's what that knocking is. So that means that that rod is down in the motor there for some reason. Who knows what? Now, this thing has solid lifters, I believe, which means that uh, to get that rod out, let me think. Well, I know to get that rod out, this intake manifold's got to come off. But also, um, it may be that the solid lifter down underneath there collapsed or something like that. So this would be an opportunity for me to, oh, at least spend some time getting to know this old girl, which I'm sure I'm going to do. So, that's good. Well, it's not good, but at least I know exactly what the problem is back there. And, yep, I know exactly what the problem is. I guess the big question is, where did that rod go? Oh, that means it's down in the motor somewhere. Mmm, that's not a good sign. Mmm. So I don't think I'm going to want to crank this until I solve that mystery. Which means, let's see, drain out the antifreeze, unbolt that uh, manifold. This cover plate down here's got to come off. It'd be a good opportunity for me to clean things up here, too. Oh, we're going to pop off the carburetor. I've got a uh, four-barrel intake that will fit this car in the other room that some YouTuber sent me ages ago. 
and uh, I've also got a two two barrel carburetor set up that I had at one time thought about putting on here. I might do that too. Hmm. Okay, so it's all going to be a process, but first thing I need to do, well, I guess first thing I need to do is what I just did. I know what's going on with that. I guess what I'm thinking about right now is do I want to get the rat rod out? Because that's the other thing on my list is to get that right rod gold ball. Now this car, hmm, trying to think. I've been driving it. I, I mean, I've been driving it around the yard with that noise. I'm wondering if it makes sense to pull it out, roll the rat rod out, back the forward back up into there. That way the forward would be in there for the work I want to do on it. And the rat rod would be out so that if I can get that clutch to work, I can use it. It would be a little bit of a risk of driving it with that noise in case that's gone down in there and is rubbing against the crankshaft or something. But at the same time, it's been making that noise for quite a while. It's not a new noise. I don't know if it's going to do any damage that it hadn't already done. So I might do that. I might put the cover back on there. It's going to leak, but so what? Put the cover back on there. You crank her up and ease her out, bring the rat rod out, and get Honey Baby to watch while I back it all the way back up into there. That way, in a way, it'd be a good, in a good place to work on it, and I can get the rat rod out here so that I can also get to get it up in the air and work on it. It might be a good project for the day.